Today on Winning Golf, we bring you a very exciting team competition highlighting local young golfers from Chester County, Pennsylvania. These young golfers represent an international organization called the FCA. What is the FCA? Find out next on Winning Golf. This one's got a chance. It's in the hole! Winning Golf, that's what we play. He's got a chance. Go to bed. It's in the cup. Wow! Each and every day. I'm near the green again, that's where the action all begins. It's in the hole! With winning golf, oh, it's in the oh. everybody wins, that's right, everybody wins. Well, hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. And today, from the beautiful Apple Cross Country Club, Winning Golf brings you a very exciting team competition featuring two groups of young adults representing the FCA of Chester County, Pennsylvania. And leading these two wonderful teams are two amazing coaches, Coach Paul Gibson and Coach Bob Neef. Coach Gibson, let me start with you, my friend. First of all, welcome back to Winning Golf. And Paul, last year your team took home the first ever Winning Golf Championship trophy, and I see you're still holding that trophy. So I'm guessing this year you'd love to have that trophy back in your hands for at least the year of 2022. Uh, it's been a great year being the champion, holding this trophy. We're excited to defend the title, and uh, we're looking forward to a great day of friendship and camaraderie. Well, thank you, Coach Gibson. And Coach Neef, it is always great to see you, my friend. Coach, you had a great year last year. Your team came up a little bit short. But I'm guessing this year that you have your North team pumped up to play some winning golf. Absolutely, Doug. Look at these wonderful FCA students. And you know what, it's all about you guys having a great game. And I know that Priscilla is gonna be a rock star today. So we're gonna take that trophy away from the South team. Well, I love the competition here. Now I have a quick question for my players. Are you all ready to play some winning golf? Yeah! Awesome, I love your enthusiasm. Now, our first skills competition is a group putting contest where all of you will putt from 25 feet at the same time. Now some of the golf balls could collide into each other, but that's part of the fun. The bottom line is whoever winds up closest to the cup will win a prize, and what a prize it is, you ready for this? How about a beautiful winning golf logoed wind shirt? Sound awesome? Yeah. What a prize? Yeah. All right, let's get ready to putt. Okay, our FCA contestants are ready to putt from 25 feet. You ready, FCA? One, two, three, putt, and here they come. Golf ball is traveling towards the cup. One is, looks very close, it's in the hole! We drained one in the first competition, what a putt! Well Matthew, congratulations, that was an amazing putt. You drained it from 25 feet, so now you'll be taking home a beautiful Winning Golf logo wind shirt. Matthew, I hope you had a great time in the contest. I most certainly did, Doug. It's great to start out the day with a putt in the cup. <laughs> well, thank you, buddy. Well, as you can see, these two FCA teams are ready to play some winning golf, and the great news is this. We still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us, but first, let's take a tour around today's championship facility, the spectacular Apple Cross Country Club. Apple Cross Country Club, located in beautiful Chester County, Pennsylvania, is already well known for exceeding expectations when it comes to serving its members and guests. And believe me, 2022 is no exception. In addition to the championship golf course, Apple Cross provides a series of amenities unmatched in the region. Amenities include a first-class golf instructional facility, gorgeous practice facilities, which now include top tracer technology, an indoor pool, an Olympic-sized heated outdoor pool, a kid's splash zone, tennis and basketball courts, a sport court area for the youngsters, indoor and patio dining, plus a state-of-the-art all-season sports pavilion, featuring a 10,000 square foot fitness center. But believe me, the amenities don't stop there. In 2017, Apple Cross opened up a majestic three level, 15,000 square foot clubhouse. The first level provides the membership with world-class men's and women's locker rooms, as well as a brand new club storage facility. The third and top level became home to the extremely popular Eagle's Nest Bar and Lounge. The Eagle's Nest provides the membership with a delicious bar style menu, indoor and outdoor dining for up to 60 guests, numerous large screen TVs, plus an expansive covered deck with breathtaking views of the 18th hole. And in 2021 on the second level, 
Apple Cross added a stunning new golf pro shop, as well as an exquisite new family dining area named Mulligan's. Without question, this beautiful new clubhouse is one of the true gems in the entire tri-state area. The pristine golf course, which opened in July 2010, blends into a landscape that reveals breathtaking views of sparkling lakes and rolling countryside. Wetlands and water features grace the surroundings on 14 of the 18 holes. One thing is for sure, lead designer Michael Nicholas, the youngest son of Jack, greatly enhanced the architectural heritage of the Nicholas name with this gem. The 18-hole layout provides four sets of tees, plays to a par 72, and can be played anywhere from 5,200 to 7,000 yards. This year we've had so many compliments on the course. Uh, Doug Ray and his staff have done a tremendous job uh, taking care of the course and, and uh, just it continues to improve year after year. We've added top tracer technology to our driving range, so the members are enjoying that uh, new feature and uh, it's helping them improve their golf game. The Nicholas arrival at Apple Cross also kicked off an inviting multi-club membership program offering championship golf by Nicholas Palmer and Reese Jones. For example, a membership at Apple Cross Country Club provides you with full privileges to Talamore Country Club in Ambor, Pennsylvania, as well as the Talamore Golf Resort and Mid-South Club, both located in Pinehurst, North Carolina. Members in the Talamore Family Network have 100% reciprocity with all four facilities based on their category of membership selected. Membership options are designed to fit your lifestyle and budget. They include social, casual and full golf, as well as junior, young professional, executive, and super senior memberships. Today, world-class golf and club facilities grace each of the properties that are part of the Talamore family of clubs. If you would like to learn more about this unique multi-club membership and possibly join the warm and welcoming Talamore family, please call 484-692-1010 or check out the website at applecrosscc.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Starting with the FCA North team in green, Coach Bob Neef, Ryan Over, Cameron Wallace, Matt D'Angelo, Matthew Over, Priscilla McHugh, Zach Zebra, and the FCA South team in yellow, Coach Paul Gibson, Zach Grieco, Kelsey Masters, Chris Ash, Grady O'Rourke, Riley Masters, and Ryan Grieco. Our players are set for Doug's Foot Joy lesson tip and shoe contest. Foot Joy, the number one shoe in golf. Today's Foot Joy contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm gonna share with you three adjustments you need to make when pitching from an uphill eye. Part two, Ryan Ober is going to put my pitching tip in action. And part three is the Foot Joy Contest where all of you will get to hit a pitch shot and at the same time compete for an unbelievable prize. You ready for this, everyone? How about a gorgeous pair of Foot Joy shoes? The number one shoe in golf. Is that awesome? What a prize. So let's talk about the three adjustments I make when pitching from an uphill eye. I make three of them. Number one is my ball position. So normally I would have the ball in the middle of my stance, but for an uphill lie, I play the ball a little back towards my back foot a little bit, okay? So ball position, back. Number two is my body weight. Normally my weight is about 50-50. Sometimes it's even on my front leg around the green. But for this shot, because it'll lie, I'm actually gonna sit more weight on my back leg. So the ball is back and my weight is back a little bit, all right? My final adjustment is with my shoulders. It's very important that your shoulders are parallel to the ground. Well, if we're going uphill, that means my shoulders have to sit a little bit more like this. Does that make sense? On a flat lie, we'd be like this, but uphill, we wanna be like that. So those are my three adjustments. Now there's one other small tip I wanna share with you. When you have an uphill lie, it adds loft to your club, which means the ball will go higher, which means it will roll less. That's why so many players come up short from an uphill lie. So if you normally would hit, hit with a lob wedge here, you might want to go with a sand wedge or a gap wedge. We want to de-loft that club so we get a little more roll. Sound like a plan, everyone? Yep. Awesome. Well, before we get to the very exciting foot joy contest, I would love for Ryan over to come up here and put this tip in action. Have a nice applause right, for Ryan. Ryan? 
All right, Ryan, so you were holding two clubs. You had the lob wedge and the sandwich. Because yep. of the uphill lie, you're going to go with the sandwich. The sandwich. Excellent. Yep. So let's get those three adjustments set up. We're going to play the ball back a little bit towards your right foot. Good. All right, that's good. Back here, maybe even a little bit more for me. Good. We're going to sit a little bit on your right leg there. And we want to make sure your shoulders are sitting a little bit like that. Okay? We can have our hands up a little bit like that. Good. Now, focus on the shot, okay? Nice and relaxed. I'm going to step back with these two wonderful FCA teams. Let's see if we can pitch one up towards that pen. Oh, look at the shot, everybody. That's a beautiful touch by Ryan Over. Well done, Ryan. Thank you. Hey, I hope you learned a lot today. I did. Thank you, Doug. You're quite welcome. Well, FCA teams, are you ready to pitch for a gorgeous pair of FootJoy shoes? Yeah! Let's go get them. Our FootJoy contest is a 15-yard pitch from an uphill lie. Zach Zebra shows us how it's done. All right, Zach. Well done. Matthew Over pitching it very well to just 3 feet 3 inches. Let's look at this shot by Matthew. Matthew's on fire today. But Grady O'Rourke has the magic touch with this winning golf shot to just over two feet away. He takes the round. That is winning golf by Grady O'Rourke. That's a beauty. Grady, congratulations. That was a great pitch shot. You had the perfect setup and you had the right club. So now you'll be lacing up a gorgeous pair of foot joy shoes. Grady, the number one shoe in golf. Hey, I hope you had some fun in the contest. It was a lot of fun, Doug. Thank you. You got it, my friend. Well, as you can see, things are heating up here on the 18th green. So when we come back, these two talented FCA teams will be battling head to head in the winning golf skills challenge. At FootJoy, we have this theory. For something to be truly innovative, to be truly groundbreaking, it has to be unexpected full of raw potential. Not marginally better than what already exists. It has to be so impressive that no one else can compete. Yeah, we like that theory. We use it to push ourselves, to push our game, so that you can keep pushing yours. The great experiences you have in here, and even out here, all started here because the best customer experience always leaves a great impression. GMC, awarded number one in sales satisfaction by J.D. Power. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on Sierra Heavy Duty models. We are professional grade GMC. Prizes and tee gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Titleist Golf Balls. Titleist, the number one ball in golf. And by Turvis Tumblers, made for a better life, Turvis. Scotty Cameron Putters, the choice of champions, Scotty Cameron Putters. Doug Hendricks Wardrobe, provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. With winning golf, everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, I'm here with Kelsey Masters from the FCA South team, and Kelsey, our first round today, we have a 40-foot chip shot from a tight line in the fairway. So my question to you is, what club will you pull out of your bag for this shot? I'll be using a pitching wedge. Well, that's a great choice. I like the bump and run shot here, and that's your choice. Well done. Good luck to you and your South team. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Well, both teams, I think, are ready to go. So let's get round one underway. Our winning golf skills challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. Each round, our players earn points for their team. Our fourth round is worth double points, and we up the ante in the fifth round with triple points. Our top two players for each team will compete in an up and in competition worth 25 points to their team. Round one is a 40-foot chip shot from a tight lie in the fairway. Ryan Grieco has this shot in his bag. All right, Ryan. Riley Masters chips it nicely for the South team. It's a beautiful touch right there. Well done, Riley. Great job. Cameron Wallace makes some noise with this shot to eight and a half feet. Cameron Wallace with a nice setup and a nice shot. But two South team members were better. Kelsey Masters. And look at that shot by Kelsey. That is a thing of beauty. Well done, Kelsey Masters. And Chris Ash, who's winning golf shot to less than three feet, takes the round. Chris Ash going from left to right, and that is winning golf. Well done. After one round, the South leads the North 12 to 3. Round two features a very fast 25 foot putt. Matt D'Angelo up to the challenge. The speed looks good. We'll get to the cup. That's the question. 
Wow, good effort, Matt. Riley Masters has a nice touch on the green. And a gorgeous stroke. Look at this shot by Riley. That is winning golf, Riley Masters. Ryan Over's putt stops at one foot nine inches away for the North. This one's got a chance. Ryan Over will move from left to right. Ryan Over, and that's a beautiful touch by Ryan. Well done, buddy. The South's Grady O'Rourke responds with this gem to 10 inches. Love the line, love the speed. This one's got a chance to go in. Grady O'Rourke, he's right on the doorstep. And check out this amazing putt by the South's Chris Ash. This one's got a chance. Chris Ash is going right at it. It's in the cup. Chris Ash drains it from 25 feet. Wow, what a putt. And with that, the South jumps out to a 23-7 lead after two rounds. Round three is a 45-foot ball toss to help our players feel the distance. Matthew Over's ball stops 10 inches from the pin. And that is a winning toss by Matt Over. Cameron Wallace's toss is an inch closer. Cameron Wallace, this looks very good. Cameron Wallace got a chance. Cameron Wallace, oh! oh. Woo. The North Zach Zebra is dialed in as his ball stops just four inches away. Zach Zebra's got a chance, it's got a chance, it's got a chance, wow. But check out Zach Grieco. With a nice high soft toss, this got a chance to go in. Zach Grieco, it's in the hole. Oh my goodness, Zach Grieco drains it. And not to be outdone is Priscilla McHugh. Oh, I like this line, I like this speed. Look at this touch by Priscilla, it's got a chance. Priscilla McHugh, it's in the hole. Priscilla, that was a great one, wow. And McHugh wins the round in a toss off. The North closing the gap leading into our double point round. FCA South 27, FCA North 18. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks, brought to you by Thermal Solutions, a dynamic mechanical insulation contractor, presently celebrating 17 years of excellence. Thermal Solutions. I'm here with Mr. Phil Over, the director of the FCA here in Chester County, Pennsylvania. And Phil, great to see you again. Great to have Winning Golf and FCA team up for a special day. I think we created some more memories for all the kids and the coaches. Yeah, Doug, I would have to agree with you on that. Uh, it's just fun to be out here, to see the fellowship and the camaraderie. And while we're going to compete today and go at each other, to all be friends and enjoy being out here. Let's talk about the FCA. What is the FCA? The FCA is the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. You can tell by the name. It ha it's a spiritual organization. But there's a lot of people that don't want to hear about spiritual stuff. So we do other things in the community uh, that, that reach even beyond for the people who don't want to get involved in the spiritual side of what we do. We uh, come alongside of coaches and athletes and we teach them to be better physically, better mentally and emotionally. And Phil, are there different ways to get involved? Oh Doug, there definitely are. I, I would suggest uh, go having a look in our website which is fca.org. There's great opportunities to get involved. If you're into your community, FCA is the organization for you. You can coach through FCA, uh, you can do, uh, you can come on staff with us and Doug, I would be remiss if I didn't say you can also support FCA financially. You know, what you're going to see here today is a, cum a culmination of that type of support. So you'll see Service Master Restore and Service Master Cleaning uh, that sponsored the whole day. You'll see Body and Soul, uh, who you'll see are those shirts on everyone, including the gallery, which is really cool that they do that. Even simple things that make us look good, like mentality barbers that cut my hair yesterday to have me ready for this. And then they filled, we got our bellies filled by Mr. Stickies up in Pottstown with those great cinnamon rolls this morning at breakfast. Well, it seems like FCA touches a lot of lives, will continue to touch a lot of lives. So I just thank you for your work and your commitment to the FCA. Thank you, Phil, and thanks for your great friendship also. And Doug, thank you, and I bless winning golf, and I, I'm, I'm blessing on this show today. How great to see uh, what's going on here. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. I'll see you next week on the tee. I'm here with Zach Zebra from the FCA North team, and Zach, round four is our double point round and worth 30 points. We also call it winning golf's moving day. So my question is this, is the FCA North team ready to make a big move here in round four? Yes, sir, we are. Yeah! Yeah!
Well, they sound ready to me, so let's see which team hits the big shots here in round four. Our double point round is a 15 yard uphill chip from the rough that Zach Grieco handles well. We'll take that one, Zach. Well done. Kelsey Masters chips her ball to just over four and a half feet. That's winning golf by Kelsey Masters. Great job. Matthew Over has a good short game. And that's a beautiful touch, Matthew. Good job. Grady O'Rourke's effort looks good at two feet, 11 inches. A beautiful setup and a beautiful touch. Grady O'Rourke. But Priscilla McHugh is on fire. Look at his shot. Priscilla McHugh. Wow. That's an incredible chip in. And after four rounds, it's still anyone's match. The score, FCA South 41, North 34. I'm here with Cameron Wallace. Cameron, your FCA North team is down by seven points, but this is the triple point round and worth 45 points. I gotta ask you, Cameron, can you lead your team to a great comeback here in round five? Of course, not only that I can, we got Priscilla Holman on McHugh and the North <laughs> team. We're gonna get this done. How about a big cheer, everybody? Yeah. Well, the excitement is building, so let's see which team rallies here in round five. Our 50-foot chip shot from the rough is worth triple points. Riley Masters takes full advantage. Okay, that's gonna work. Well done, Riley. Priscilla McHugh continues her fine play. Priscilla McHugh looks very good. Well done. They had a great day today. But our top three players are all from the south. Grady O'Rourke chips it nicely to four and a half feet. Move it from left to right, and that is a beautiful touch by Grady O'Rourke. Chris Ash's shot is a couple of inches closer. Great setup, great touch. It's got a chance. Chris Ash got a chance. Wow. There we go. Ryan Grieco takes the round with this winning golf shot to just four feet. Move it from left to right, and that's winning golf by Ryan Grieco. After five rounds, the South has a comfortable lead. FCA North point leader Priscilla McHugh, 21 points, and FCA South point leader Chris Ash with 22 have earned the spots in our Belfour Up and In playoff. Find out who'll take the playoff when winning golf returns. At FootJoy, we have this theory. For something to be truly innovative, to be truly groundbreaking, it has to be unexpected. Full of raw potential not marginally better than what already exists. It has to be so impressive that no one else can compete. Yeah, we like that theory. We use it to push ourselves, to push our game, so that you can keep pushing yours. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Vokey SM9 Wedges. Choose closer, Vokey SM9 Wedges. And by Ahead. Advanced headwear, embroidery, and design ahead. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. Welcome back to Winning Golf. We're all set for our Belfour Up and In Playoff. Belfour Property Restoration. Restoring more than property. We are on the beautiful 18th green here at Apple Cross Country Club, and our top overall point leaders from each team will compete in our final event, the Belfour Up and In Playoff. Now the rules for the playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be awarded 25 points for their team. Well, our final event for this very exciting FCA day is a Belfour Up and In Playoff. Priscilla will lead us off. We have a 30 foot shot here and here comes the shot. And she got all of that one, but it's on the green. And remember, this is up and in, so we'll be hitting our short shots, and then we'll also be doing our putting. Now it's Chris Ash's turn for the FCA South team, trying to get up and in here, and here it comes. And there's a nice touch by Chris. This one's got a chance to go in. Wow, what an effort by Chris Ash. He's had a fabulous day. Priscilla's goal is to two putt from about 50 feet. If she can do that, she'll certainly put a lot of pressure on Chris. She's playing it up really high. That's gonna come down in hard. And she got a little bit into that one but she can still roll in the next one. Well, Priscilla McHugh has 25 feet, a little left to right. Line looks on, really good. There. The speed looks pretty there. good. That's a nice effort by Priscilla. Well, Chris Ash has six feet, and here it comes. It's got a chance. Chris Ash, that is in the heart of the hole for the FCA South team, and they are winning golf champions here at the beautiful Apple Cross Country Club. Wow, what an effort by Chris Ash. 
Chris, congratulations not only on your personal day, but the South team again is the winning golf champion here at Apple Cross Country Club. Back to back years. So I'm proud of you, proud of your team. Most importantly, I hope you had a lot of fun. It was definitely a lot of fun. Once in a lifetime opportunity, and I'm glad I can make the most of it. Well, thank you, Chris. Now, your team is back to back winners, and you had a great day on the golf course again, but I want you to keep up the good work with the FCA, too. I definitely will. You got it, my friend. Well, whatever you do, don't leave your seat. We'll be right back with the Winning Golf Championship trophy presentation when Winning Golf returns. The great experiences you have in here, and even out here, all started here. Because the best customer experience always leaves a great impression. GMC, awarded number one in sales satisfaction by J.D. Power. Step up to GMC with 0% financing on Sierra Heavy Duty models. We are professional grade GMC. You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. Well, Coach Paul Gibson, congratulations. Back-to-back -back championships here on our special Winnie Golf FCA Day. Your team had a great, great day. Your leadership was in, in play all day. And right now, I'd like to have our director of the FCA here in Chester County, Phil Over, hand you back your championship trophy. Phil? Well, so, Paul, I, I, I can only say two in a row. You're on a roll, and you deserve it. Your team played great. Good job, guys. And, Paul, congratulations. Our 2022 champions, the FCA South team. Well, Paul, your team certainly played uh, great on the course today, um, but I also know some of them now, and they're also playing well off the course. So today we had a lot of fun, but most importantly, I think they had a good teamwork, um, good competition today, and again, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, second victory tastes just as sweet, but uh, I think more importantly, we, we had a lot of good friendship and made a lot of great memories today. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. Congratulations again, FCA South. Well, Coach Neef, back-to-back years, great battles, very close <laughs> towards the end. Uh, next year's another year. Um, I just hope your team also had a wonderful experience with winning golf. Doug, thank you very much. And kids, guys, girls, great day. We thank the Lord for beautiful weather. And we just pray that FCA continues to have a a great ministry here in Chester County. Thanks, Doug. Thank you, Bob, and thanks to both coaches for your leadership today. And a special thanks to our director of the FCA here in Chester County, Phil Over, as well as all of our parents, our volunteers, our coaches, and our FCA sponsors. They all helped to make this Winning Golf Day an extra special one. And finally, I want to thank all my viewers for watching Winning Golf. Winning Golf is the show where everybody wins. You heard them where everybody wins. I'll see you all next week. Everybody wins.